I made a comment about this earlier, and it's starting to play a huge role in this series. Now, if you declare war with open borders, your units don't get transferred outside of the borders and then you have to, you know, approach the city. Now you just stay inside those borders and you can attack the city immediately. Why is that a problem? I will show you. <laughs> that's a problem, and that's a pretty big problem for Mecha. Because, because I was stupid and I was like, hey, yeah, Monty, go for it. You can have my open borders, it's all good. Well, yeah, I'm starting to eat those words a little bit because uh, he would have two immediate strikes on Mecha. Now, luckily, this is the only city in my empire that has walls. So I'm feeling a little bit okay with that. Now, over the break, I've kind of pushed my, my empire in the right direction. I can now start to upgrade my crossbowmen uh, or, or archers to crossbowmen and my heavy chariots to mamluks. The problem is I have no money. 16.9 gold per turn is not enough money to upgrade these guys fast enough. So I'm going after an, a commercial hub inside of Cairo. I also built our unique building, which we can zoom in and see. It's, uh, I believe it's that one right there. So that building is providing us more than usual science, so five science, as well as two faith. And it gave us housing and, uh, and I think an extra slot for a relic or something like that. Now, one of my big fears though is actually from Halab, or Leb, whatever, uh, because Egypt peace out with Gilgi. So Cleopatra has been kind of approaching my borders here with like horsemen units and things like that, I'm getting nervous. So the plan right now is to build builders. I'm gonna improve the salt because I need the extra amenities anyways. Uh, go after the horses, go after some of these extra amenities down here because I need to sell them off, man. I need to make more money. As soon as I can upgrade all of my army, then we can, I think, take on this massive amount of, uh, of melee units, which is just crazy. I'm just worried that, I'm worried that Monty is thinking about teaming up with Cleopatra Oh, well, they don't really like each other, so maybe that would not happen. Yes, yeah, so that's that's unlikely since she denounced him, but still, it, maybe, either way, they could both maybe just think of the same thing. They might be like, yeah, I don't like this Arabian guy either. Let's go after him. So that's kind of my fear as they approach our borders from here and uh, and from the south too. I also messed around with my government. Oh, yeah, I, I evil, evil evangelized, something like that, some big word with E. Uh, I did that thing, and I've allowed my missionaries to uh, religious units ignore movement cost of terrain and features. I think this is a way bigger belief than people are giving credit for. This is going to allow us to move so much faster through the world, and I think allow us to achieve a religious victory way sooner than people think. So I, I bet you this is going to be an amazing, an amazing belief. Um, and I changed around my government. So, uh, so conscription, still I need to reduce the gold maintenance. I'm getting extra golds. Ooh, I forgot to mention that. I'm trading with I'm trading with the Aztecs. Because he was giving me the most gold back. I this is the only reason why I'm making 16.9, because I was making like four. Was because a route to uh, his capital was like 12 gold and he was giving uh faith back. So now it's 14 gold because I have that that policy enabled. Um get a little bit more more invo envoys to city states, and then 100 percent holy site adjacency bonuses have boosted me to almost 50 faith per turn already. So that is really, really good news. And it's going to go even higher after Mecca begins to build on uh, on our holy site. So, yeah, these two holy sites are just amazing. And I need to get up another campus so that I can build my unique building in my core four cities. It's, 100, it's turn 128. Um, my, my two new cities are doing okay. They're doing all right. Oh, I had... Uh, I, I probably won't play with this on yet, so let me disable this. So yeah, uh, I was moving a little bit faster. I can purchase things over, or I can uh, purchase things with faith. I think I might do that. Let's go with an apostle. And I need to build a tempa, temple so that Mecca, Mecca, I don't know why I can't talk, so that Mecca can build my uh, my mosque. Because right now, it, you need to build a temple before you can build a mosque. So I will make sure that I do that. I don't know if I'm going to go after another belief for my religion. I might, instead of spread it to... Because I've been spreading it to Gilgamesh. I don't believe Egypt has a religion either, so we should dominate as long as we keep India in the corner. Keep India in the corner. We should dominate the religious game on this landmass. So unmet player, unmet player, unmet player. Yeah, so it's just me and India, which is beautiful. That is beautiful. So I'm not super worried about it. He can stay in the corner. He could do his thing. Um... I mean, there it is. I think we should do it. I don't think the world would be ready for it. So let's see what else we have. Pilgrimage is not bad, plus two faith for every city following this religion in other civilizations and city-states. That's not bad at all, because I'm going to be getting a lot of that. If we keep Gandhi in the corner, then I'm going to have access to all these city-states and all these other civs. 
and I can maybe declare a war, uh, a holy war on Gandhi. Uh, type bonuses, 50%. Nah, I don't think so. I think for the most part, this is really good too. Extra gold for each. Oh, that is kind of something that I would need right now too. <gasps> yeah, you know what? I should do that. I need this right now. We've got a lot of followers. I think we have like two, or I'm sorry, not two. We probably get two gold out of this right now, but eventually it give us a lot of money. I'm going to do it. Because I think we're going to have enough faith in this game. We've got this natural wonder next to us, and we're Arabia, so we generate a lot of fa faith naturally. We don't need as much faith. So let's do it. Let's confirm. And uh, and I guess we didn't, or do we have to wait till next turn? Let's see if we have to wait till next turn, because I don't think it moved at all. I, yeah, that's nice. City-states trading with other city-states. That's so sweet. That's romantic. I wish I had a city-state that I could trade with. Uh, you are worse than Brutus and somebody else. Because I'm weak. Girl, I'm trying to impress you, man. I'm trying to impress you. I need someone to impress. Please. So I've got my builders coming. So it's it's economy time. Yeah, there we go. So I'm at 21.9. So I'm, I got a lot more gold back than I was expecting. Five plus beliefs. So we keep spreading that, man. We're going we're gonna to fix this economy in no time. We're going to fix this economy. I also finished a theater district, by the way, because I needed, I needed the extra culture. I didn't want to fall behind in civics. So you want to go here first, since we got another builder coming. They can improve the horses for us. We could sell those off. Yes, it is shrine time for sure. It is, you know what time it is. It's shrine time. <laughs> Sometimes it's just this cheesiness. It's just too much cheesiness, Drew. This looks like it's probably like a little peninsula here where Egypt is. I didn't get to explore it enough because I had to send my uh, my heavy chariots back. Which, by the way, I can upgrade another one to a Mamluk. So these guys are 48 melee strength as well as they will heal every single turn no matter what. So, yeah, that's obviously really amazing. That, that is... is no easy so, I mean, I'm trying to think of like a good... Here, you should definitely get the, one of the Mamluks. Where did you come from? I have no idea where you came from, but let's... Uh, oh, and Open Borders has, has finally ended. Jeez, I'm so lucky. I am so lucky. Okay, so promise was, has been fulfilled. Where did this guy come from? Probably here, I'm thinking. Well, maybe, you know what, maybe the Aztecs will go, if we're lucky, maybe they'll go after him. So I don't want to go into the Renaissance era before I declare the war. Let's go Mathematics. I don't have any spearmen, so upgrading to pikemen isn't the best of ideas. Um, you've built our builder. I actually do want you to build the ancient walls. I changed my mind. I know I thought the city was going to be safe, but I don't think so anymore. So we're going to get some extra production. Um, Egypt has denounced me. I think we need to use our friendship with Gilgamesh here. We're declared friend. So, uh, you have... Oh, you have horses, though. I don't want to give you as a gift. I don't think so, buddy. Ten gold per turn. How much would this be appropriate? Seven? Not seven. Okay, well, let's try four, then. Whoa! Maybe it's because you already have it. Okay, he's not down. He's not down. He's got extra coffee. Never mind. All right. We could... I would do open borders with you, though. Let's check on, uh, let's check on India. First of all, can we be cool now before I declare this war? Uh, okay, unfortunately, no. And he's giving me the finger. And he's giving me the finger, so it's it's not going to happen. I should not be giving this to him. We should, the last thing I should be doing is giving Gandhi anything, to be honest. But what about this? How about two gold per turn? You guys aren't down. Okay, so you don't want horses. Uh, I'm not going to trade with the Aztecs. That would be stupid. And Cleopatra has denounced us, so she's not cool with that either. So I guess this sucks. We need to go after caravels too as soon as possible. I do realize that so we can figure out what's on the other continent and we can rush for our religious victory. These things are very, very important. I need, I needed to get up a trade route between these two new cities so I can maybe move a little bit faster. It'd be helpful. The Aztecs have been sitting here with a settler not doing anything, so that's kind of, kind of unfortunate. Well, I should probably check. Let's go see. This, it's got to be there. It's got to be an encampment there. The crossbow are costing me 200 gold to upgrade to. This is another thing I wanted. I wanted divine right for the monarchy. And then we can go mercenaries. There we go. That's what we need. But that's... Well, we boosted both of those. Holy crap. I boosted all this stuff up here, but I haven't researched it. We would... We need monarchy anyways for all those military techs. Or military policies, I should be saying. Alright, so it's, it's amenity time. We're going to come down over here. We, we are lacking housing. We are definitely lacking housing. I realize that. Uh, a commercial hub will kind of explode our economy because we'll be able to get up another trade route. 
will be generating more gold. I get a nice adjacency bonus. You know, being next to this like massive mountain range is amazing. Because uh, you know, I'm getting just at least plus two adjacency bonuses for everything. Except for the theater district, because I don't build any wonders. I should have built it next to the hanging gardens, but my capital was kind of preoccupied. Maybe it wasn't there. Maybe someone else take it took it down. Okay, well there's the salt. I uh, I actually don't know where else I would send you to. Can you come here somehow? Okay, well go around. You're gonna take forever to get there, but that's fine. And in terms of technologies, I really don't need anything, but I don't want to rush into the Renaissance era. That would be very stupid. Uh, we want to probably think about denouncing him soon, because it's going to take five turns before we can declare a formal war. Five turns. Uh. Yeah, I mean, we're not super ready for that. Uh, with two Mamluks, I don't think so. I'm making 20 gold per turn, though. So in that sense, things are a little bit better. Amenity-wise, we should be great. It's just housing. Like, Cairo needs an aqueduct bad. Not bad, but just so we can continue to at least grow here, because Cairo is such a good city. Okay, so yeah, they're taking care of that. Maybe I will be risky. I mean, ugh. Maybe, I, well, because if I denounce them now, also, do I want to... Yeah, we should improve this city. Let's see, what are we working I can't do anything with the rainforests, so we'll leave them. We'll leave them alone. Yeah, I guess I'll put. I'll build a mine for you. I guess. Okay, and then let's go with a, another apostle, and we'll start to spread this baby. We're gonna start spreading this religion. Fifty faith. So I'm gonna go up to. I'm gonna go up all through here first. We'll go to Gilgi in Egypt. Um, I didn't talk about how Sumeria really forward settled Gandhi, which is nice. And Gandhi's coastal, man. I, I could have a good time building up a navy and going after him through my naval units, through like some sort of naval invasion. That would be pretty awesome. Okay, so the shrine's finished. Now we go for the temple. Unless there's something el else that I see in here. I, I get distracted. Okay, I get distracted easily. It, it just happens. <laughs> it just happens way too often. Okay, so temple next. And we go towards the north. And again, we are not getting any terrain... Uh, penalties for our modify or for our movement. So this is like we get here in three turns with all this rough terrain. Three turns. So I'm loving that. We should probably upgrade you. Yes. Yeah, we should. Watermelt. This city should use a, a wall too. Uh, they could definitely use a, a great wall. A great wall along the southern border. Okay, so gold will explode. Soon enough. It's not going to explode, explode. But as we continue to push our economy, it will, actually. Now that I think about it. There we go. Let's get some more gold here. Damascus is doing pretty okay. Uh, farms. Actually, no. We need to go after the incense. Which is providing us faith, by the way. Kind of a perfect uh, starting resource to be next to us as Arabia. I, I think we could be getting... Uh, honestly, I'm thinking by turn 175, we could double our faith output. I think we could. Definitely. Ooh, India is over here. Did they kill us? You want open borders? Oh, wait. Actually, I think I'm actually down. Yeah, I needed the gold anyways. So you should take this, Drew. Yeah, I'm going to take this. Open borders. Uh, we're going to take it just for the gold. So perfect. He kind of reminded me of something that I needed to do as it is. I needed to do this thing. So we'll, we'll do that. I'm making... I can upgrade to... I need a crossbowman, man. I need a crossbowman. And we also need to... Okay, so you come over here. That's the first thing we need to do. I'll pull the mamluk over to keep you safe. Let's let's put the p first crossbowman over towards Damascus. Because this is like the, the, the weakest city we have. Uh, market, plus three golds. Encampment would help, but it's only for defense. And I think we'll be okay. I, I think we'll be okay for the most part. I still have the possibility of getting up only, I only have three, I only had three heavy chariots, which is kind of interesting. I thought I had more. I've got this warrior sitting here. Let's not forget about him. I'm going to move him here because I bet you he'll, that's, it's happened where I've kept him there for thousands of years. There's one. Okay, so I'll pull you up this way. I need to upgrade this guy though. Do I want to promote you? Religious spread is triple in strength in cities of other civilizations. 
You know what? I'm gonna take that. Hopefully he doesn't die and then run away. Okay, uh, yeah, I think we do want to mark it. I don't think it's time to do another district. Ah, you know what? It is time for an aqueduct. That's what we need. All right, I need to do that. I, I do need to do that. You could also use a holy site district, but I'd want you to use this tile here for the adjacency bonuses. You're running out of housing, my dude. Trader, perfect, five turns. You're not bad, man, that's not a bad city. They've got some production in that city, which I like. So uh, this will probably be an international trade route again, even though I, I kind of need the, uh, I really do need the internal trade routes. Oh, he's fine, he's actually, why is he doing so bad? during these battles. We don't want to lose next to a city. You lose a religious uh, combat, religious combat next to a, a city, then we're going to we're going to drop in Islamic pressure. We don't want that. Okay, that is uh that is the last thing that we want here. There's my beautiful crossbowman. Continue to give me faith, buddy. Where do we have any more we haven't met any more faith city states, but I will get more There we go. Right now. And religious spread? Yeah, let's do it. If he attacks me, he's going to probably die. I think he's going to kill himself if he does decide to attack me, so it's okay. 27 gold per turn. A little bit better. I'm just trying to get more population. This is a city with 8 population. India should also have tons of population, too. Unfortunately, we will have a tough time spreading Islam there. Good, negative 50. Yeah, there we go. We need to be careful. I know that there's a fresh apostle from uh, from Hindu somewhere around here. A Hindu apostle, I should say. So let's go after Ur. Or it's, it's not Ur. I always, I always mispronounce that. I always call it Ur. All right, so this trader is done. I, I really shouldn't send it to the Aztecs. That would be so stupid. I like the gold that I was receiving, though. I'm going to move you to the capital. Just to see what other options I have out there. I want to check out my options, okay? Just want to check the options. And we will move very quickly. I love this. I love this belief. It's going to be so amazing. And the AI is clearly very... Loves to spam its unique tile improvement. Kind of interesting. Suzerain status lost. That's fine. I didn't care about that thing anyways. And now it's time to, bam, go with that. And then we'll be, it's fine that I won't be making as much gold from the Aztec route since uh, someone will probably be able to trade India for the incense or something. Maybe not Cleopatra since she did denounce me, but that's okay. Oh, and I ended up dying. Well, that's all right, because I already have enough for another apostle. And I'll do that right now. So there we go. Um, I think that for sure now our war with the Aztecs will start up. D wait a second. How are we doing here? Tell me there's something good. Jeez, the Aztecs, man. you just offering me so much gold, it's hard to say no. 13 gold. That's going to really lower. Yeah, let's go here. Get faith back. 8 golds. That's good enough for now. So we'll do that, and then let me just purchase my, my missionary, and then we'll be all good. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop right there. We'll see what happens in the next one. We're in a mess. We'll see what happens in the next one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.